Welcome to the Rut Pop Podcast. I am just one of your hosts, Zach Rutledge, along with our other host, Brandon Rutledge. That's right, we are in person. He doesn't even have his microphone ready. He doesn't have anything ready to go. He was too busy playing with Tinder, everybody. <laughs> that's exactly, what, that's exactly how, what he was doing. How'd you guess? <laughs> I, I meant to put my mask on. Well, got the be excellent to each other mask. I like that. Yeah, be excellent. Yeah, because we can hear that. You can hear me? <laughs> not really. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm glad to be back in person after a big bout of COVID. And, yeah, um, this house is COVID infested. I meant to wear my be excellent to each other mask. It, um, it, yeah, it, exactly. Exactly. Um, we have a lot to discuss. Um, Let move, me finish my Tinder conversation. Hold on. Move your, move your microphone a little bit to your uh, right. Eh? There you go. Eh? A little bit, yeah. Bit? It's you're still out of focus. I, I'm still out of focus. You're still out of. I, dude, I've been out of focus for like 20 years. <laughs> you have been. You have been. Uh, this is this is a packed episode. So <laughs> the only way that we could really handle this this particular episode, everybody, is to bring in my brother from down under, ladies and gentlemen, a a welcomed guest and friend of the rut pop podcast show mr justin j wood is in the house what's up guys what is up what's going on how are you doing bud what's up man oh man oh you know i'm i'm just freaking out i'm freaking out (laughs) it's been how long has it been so like seven eight nine so one two three four five six hours and 20 minutes i'm still no plus 12 so like 18 hours my, I have, I, I, can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> my, I, it's my it, brain. It's been a day. Is I it don't mel- understand. Melted? Did your brain melt? Why? Oh man, I. That's the thing. No words. <laughs> We're probably going to be talking about it <laughs> yeah. for a bunch. No, no words. So, but man. You, so, what a, what a what a night we've had. What seriously? What, this is what this is what happened today. This is what transpired. Today. December. 18 December 2020 18th. has been a great day out of a year of horribleness what <laughs> if that's even a word Disney <laughs> listen Disney uh Dave Filoni John Favreau um gave us the best Christmas present we could have ever asked for as Star Wars fans <laughs> right after an awful awful year a horrible year yeah let's bring it to close on a high note they what they did for us today was incredible yeah and totally thank, thank you john favreau and dave filoni and everybody else involved mark mark hamill and-, and 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 what and if you haven't guessed it yet we are talking about the season finale of the mandalorian on and disney plus mando and mando baby there is so much to dive into again that i i had to bring in um really the only other person i feel like is is above me on a Star Wars knowledge level, and that is Mr. Justin J. Wood. So again, I appreciate you coming thank in you so tonight. Much. I know this oh, is a you. weird time for you in Australia, but I do appreciate you. What are you talking about? It's one twenty in the afternoon. Well, like it's just like, but who streams at one twenty in their own lunch? One twenty in the afternoon. Isn't that that's crazy? Awesome. On Saturday, on, on a Saturday, on a Saturday. Yeah. For wow. us, it's Friday, yeah. and that's the thing. He he wow. got a yeah, good Friday night here, man. Right. He got a glimpse at the Mando while I was asleep in bed, <laughs> and, and I was at work. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, you know, I, I, I just, I woke up and here's the thing is I typically get all of my news these days from Twitter. You know, that's, I don't typically, yeah. I don't watch the news or anything like that. So, you know, I turn on, I, this is normally what happens. I wake up about seven o'clock. I kind of whirl over to kind of wake myself up. I turn on Twitter and see what did I miss in the world that, you know, that, and all of a sudden it was Mandalorian, you broke me. I'm not crying. You're crying. And I was like, <laughs> off, 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 swipe up, whatever I got to do to turn this thing off. So much. Uh, and I had yeah, the yeah, exact yeah. same problem today. It, I, I was like, no, no media. I, I saw a, cu- I saw a couple headlines and I was like, oh my God, no more media today. <laughs> no. Like I as soon a, as I'm I, finished I the a, episode. Yeah. Cause as soon as, yeah, as soon as I finished the episode, uh, cause I'm lucky I get it at seven o'clock at night. So I don't have to be up really early. I don't have to go like go to bed really whatever. Like I just I, I do my day and then Mandalorian. You lucky son of a as bitch. As soon as it finished, I went on Twitter and everything and I was like, "Oh, that's oh, that's so Okay, nobody touch the internet yes. when you're going to want Seriously, to be watching I, this because 
it's bad. You're absolutely right. Right. Justin. In the I, I, best took a, ways. I took a screenshot of one. I was so pissed off <laughs> that like I have to share it. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you saw that today? Uh, I, I oh, you can't even get it in there. That's what she yeah. said. Yeah. Yeah. Can, can you read that? Yeah. Baby Yoda can't stay with spoilers, <laughs> but they have a picture of him. Who does that? Right. Who? Oh, I was so man. effing pissed. So you saw that before you saw so, the episode? Uh, yes. So, oh, so man. effing angry. Oh, man. So angry I saw that. That sucks. And I was like, no more media today. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, that was the thing. Yeah. I was texting all yeah. of my friends saying, if you haven't watched it yet, stay off the internet. Like, Seriously, just stay off like, of it. What is up with that? Yeah. That's awful. What is up with that? That's that's so just... that that's the thing that sucks about it kind of coming out at when it does in the states. Yeah, like I almost feel like it should come out at seven p.m. there and okay. three a.m. here because <laughs> yeah. way bigger audience. You could have you could have and... gone. Yeah, great great point. Great point. <laughs> you go on Twitter How hard and you're is it? you you go on Twitter at seven p.m. You know, uh, and and it's like I've seen the Mandalorian. Who wants to touch me? And everybody in the states <laughs> is like raising their hand. You know, yeah, yeah. Who, who wants that? That's a Cartman. That's line. a Cartman. Cartman. I have seen the Mandalorian season finale episode. <laughs> whatever. Who wants to touch me? I, I do. Yes, <laughs> I would too. I said, "Who wants to touch me?" I love it. It's me. it's that. So okay. Here, here's, 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 that sucks for you. I didn't know that. I didn't know you hadn't told me that you got spoiled on that. That's awful. I mean, ha, there's so many Jedi with green lightsabers, you know, and it, th there was another headline that said like, oh, this is the is best, there, this is the best Jedi um, cameo of, of Mandalorian <laughs> was another headline I read. I was Please. like, sons of biscuits. Yeah. What is going on? There's, there's not enough other Jedi, prominent Jedi, that they would be spoilered, <laughs> you know, with a green lightsaber. Give me a freaking Black break. robes. Yeah. Come yeah. on. <laughs> green lightsaber. Oh, That's just awful. I'm like, you sons of biscuits. What is going on here? The... Uh, <laughs> Peyton Reed again. I, I was scared to text you today. It, the, the text I sent you that that was the text I wanted to send. Right. But I was afraid you hadn't seen it yet. Oh, gotcha. Okay. I, I I sent you a text saying like, "I'm Luke Skywalker. I'm here to rescue you." Yeah. That, that's that's the thought that went through my mind as soon as I saw that X one. I mean, they I almost pretty much said it. Um, <laughs> I I I want to you know we obviously what I want to I want to go through all this because there's a lot of stuff to unpack here. But obviously the big you know the big wart on the nose is the fact that that we that we got something that we never thought we were gonna I. I never thought, I don't know, Justin, if you ever thought, I never thought no. we were going to see on screen again Luke Skywalker. I never thought that. Yeah. I, all of the rumors that, you know, hey, Sebastian Stan could play him as a young Luke Skywalker and all this stuff. Like, that's great fan fodder and all this. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Never expected that to really be the case, that we would get a, a Luke Skywalker. Young. Young. A young, a Luke. young Luke Skywalker. Well, just even old. I mean, because I just never... I kind of expected. I thought felt like Mark Hamill walked off into the sunset with with Last Jedi. Like I just kind of felt yeah, like, or even did. Last Jedi, or no, not Last Jedi, but uh, Rise of Skywalker. I just kind of feel like at, even at the end of that one, like that was his He's like, yeah, swan song. I, you know, I raised my ex. He's done a recent interview <laughs> where he spoke to that like, my time in Star Wars is done. Right. Yeah. And he even he even like mentioned lying bastard. Sebastian <laughs> lying bastard. <laughs> he he even like tweeted about Sebastian Stan the other day. Yeah. He's like, I don't want to put my thumb on the scale, but I would love to play his father. <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, the so, um, but and 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 obviously you were you were you were spoiled. You had a kind of an inkling going into the episode because because of that tweet. I get it. I. I I didn't know for sure. For sure, but okay, but the, but, I, but I was in my mind. I was like Luke or Mace Window. The Luke question: Mace Window. He is purple, baby. He ain't going green. So here's the deal. This, True, but this is he going, was thrown out of a window. The um <laughs> the the tweet the tweet would have would have moved your thought process in a certain direction with the next question I had. And Justin, you might have been more on on par with what where my head was. Uh, mm -hmm. I. You know, th th they've set up the moment there where all of our heroes are behind that door and the, the dramatic music is building and you could see out the viewport. And I had it in my brain. I had the mm -hmm. idea that the New Republic was showing up led by Ahsoka Tano. 
That's where I thought it was okay, going to go. I didn't think it was Ahsoka. I just, I, I saw X-Wing and I was like, cool. We've had precedents in this show for the New Republic guys to come in. And yeah. then I thought, okay, that's what it is. Yeah. That's what okay. it is. So, so that first X-Wing show or the X-Wing shows up and that's, and I, in my head, I was like, oh, they are, they're going to go that way. It's going to be the New Republic. And right. again, in my brain, it was, it was led by Ahsoka Tano or whatever, because she could find sure. Grogu, right? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then yeah. all of a sudden, connection. right. And then all of a sudden, Cara Dune drops the, oh, great, a single X-Wing, we're <laughs> saved. <laughs> the minute she said single X-Wing, that's when I realized nobody else was coming. I immediately mm. did this. I'm yeah. getting goosebumps right yeah. now thinking about it again. Okay. Yeah. And I, yeah. And, and, yeah. My, and my son is sitting over to my left and I, and nice. I turn and I turn to him slowly and I said, Oh my God, they're going to do it. <laughs> and he's like, do what? What are you talking about? You know, he has no idea. <laughs> and I went, Oh my God, they're going to do it. I couldn't even like get I'm it Luke out. Skywalker. I'm here to rescue yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't get it out. <laughs> and, and I'm just the whole time I'm sitting here like this. I'm just I'm with my hands just on top of my head. I That's couldn't, I, I couldn't get it out. And I said, do you, he, I go, do you know who that is? And he, he goes, Ahsoka? <laughs> because he's not, you know what I mean? Like he's, he's in that mindset yeah. where he hasn't spent 35 years like us growing up with this, this, you bring these, up the past. these characters. Right. And so, make me cry, dude. okay. So here's the thing. <laughs> so all of a sudden, like once I, again, I, I was almost like not believing it. And yeah. then you see the hooded yeah. figure walk through that hallway. No, no, no. You don't you don't see that. You see this. You see this. You go. Yeah. <laughs> that is all. Awesome. That, that awesome. Trust me, I had a baby Yoda in my pocket. And, and Grogu up too. is like <laughs> Right. He just And he it's does, not just He does that. It's not just turn. a Republic cruiser coming in. Right. It's not just a Republic cruiser coming in. It's Grogu's knows who that is and i'm like okay there's only one jedi that we know who does who <laughs> uses an okay. x-wing so so right. well, there's one jedi we know who does the x-wing and again i almost didn't want to believe it and it, it wasn't until i but saw I'm still, exactly i'm still not believing it. right i still <laughs> at that time <laughs> i finally at the moment where i saw the hooded figure with, on the video screen yeah. walk through that hallway i started crying I immediately started crying because yeah. i knew I, at that point it was real for me i was like that's that's what they're doing and, and yeah. it was the moment that they built. I love the parallels with everything. Okay. So again, I don't know. I don't know if this was a Peyton Reed decision, which again, I got to give, I got to give a standing ovation to Peyton Reed. Did he did Ant-Man? He did the, he did the Ant-Man movies. He did, he did an episode this season already. Yeah. But the, ep this episode carried so much weight and he just freaking nailed it. Like it was so great. But yeah. again, I don't know if it was a his decision or if this was a Favreau or a Filoni decision. I'm not sure. But the parallels that they put in are great. So you have Last Jedi, Luke Skywalker getting there on um on uh, help me out with the planet. Crate. Crate, thank you. Showing up on Crate and everybody slowly turns and watches him walk in everybody kind of rises up and all they do the exact same thing in this in this episode it's like that's yeah. the aura that he delivers when he approaches it's the legend of luke skywalker so here's my question did anybody in that room know who yeah. the hell he was other than moff gideon potentially because mando doesn't know dread jedi real quick i am oh, so Bo-Katan does i am so guarantee Bo Katan does i'm so effing jealous of both of you <laughs> for having that moment Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. Because oh, it was it 100%. was spoiled. It was spoiled for me. And I I'm I'm pit I'm pissed. I'm pissed. I, I, I would be too. I would be too. I, I I'm, feel awful for I'm it. Exactly. My, pissed, my pissed name isn't person. underneath my face. Do you want to add my name? I, I will. I'm sorry. <laughs> just you I know just what noticed, I'm gonna do? I just noticed. Can you can you yeah. change mine to pissed pissed offerson? Pissed pissed offerson. <laughs> like Chris Christofferson. You know what I'm you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take uh, just to make things fair. <laughs> I'm gonna take names away because I feel like <laughs> that's that's the easy yeah. the that's easy. the easiest thing to do. That's the point. That's the path of least resistance. <laughs> and go. it is Streamlabs. Yes. If I start doing too much crap, it's gonna close. Did I yeah. tell you, Justin? Did I tell you your laptop's about, gonna explode about about Streamlabs? Uh, they they released an update and again. All their updates are automatic. We just had this conversation, and I yeah. boot up Streamlabs. I'm gonna I'm gonna play some Spider Man or something. Whatever. I'm just gonna get on. And the second I go to type anything, I type three letters, Streamlabs completely crashes. 
I open it back up, type three letters, Streamlabs completely crashes. Nice. They had a no, huge geez. Mac bug that couldn't you couldn't type in anything at all, or it would completely crash. Mm. And it took them 12 hours to, to patch it and send hmm. out an update. Anyway, that's my rant about Streamlabs. Yeah. I should need to stop using them. Yeah, thanks, Streamlabs. Great job. Uh, the um so then so then so you have that parallel and then you go and then you have him right you know go through the elevator and he comes out the elevator door right yeah, so back to your question what well you asked the question like who we thought it was oh Th there was a brief second i thought it was ahsoka there was yeah. really i i mean i i'm in my own mind i'm trying to play devil's advocate i'm like she has white lightsabers how did you think that from seeing the I you know I I wanted I wanted to think it was Ahsoka. Okay. She she yeah. she has black robes, right? Mm. Black robes. They were watching it on. She has gray, doesn't she? Gray, grayish white robes. Uh, it honestly everything that we saw <laughs> until we saw the lightsaber being green was all through the the um, viewer screen, the viewer the screen. monitors, right? Yeah, the right. monitor, all through the monitor. True. So we yeah. saw black and white, black and white, black and white. So True. we didn't know color. We yeah, didn't, didn't know. know it it kind of looked was. white at first. So the lightsabers kind of looked white on that on that monitor. I think my brain was was painting in colors at that point because <laughs> I knew like from that from that X wing, I was like, there ain't nobody else flying an X wing by himself. Yeah, you're, like, that's you're what right. It is. Yeah, you're right. It was red five, baby. Like that was who that was. <laughs> I was like, that's it right there. Red five. Red five. Yeah. I, um, Rogue Squadron. Okay. So speaking of Rogue Squadron, the other parallel. <laughs> okay. So, so, or, or Rogue One, so the other par parallel here, he comes, gets out of the elevator, ignites that green lightsaber and just starts wailing through all those dark troopers. Right. Yeah, that was a whole way so, of dark troopers. It was, it was, so it was, cool. it was Darth Vader in Rogue, Rogue One. Yeah. yeah. Like it was the exact yeah. same shot. And again, is that a Peyton Reed decision or is that Farv and Filoni going, by the way, Bubba, you have to do this kind of <laughs> setup. Like this is the way it works. That would have been in the script. That, that would have been in the script. Yeah. Well, that's what, yeah. I, I Just even the way it was shot though, too. Like, cause I mean, sometimes you can interpret the shooting, right? Like, yes, script wise, Luke Skywalker approaches out of the thing, ignites his lightsaber and, you know, unceremoniously <laughs> wipes through all of the dark troopers. And does an Obi-Wan. But, but the way, I mean, the way it was shot was right down the middle like it was an homage mm. to Rogue One. Yeah. The way it was shot sure. was an homage. I mean, yeah, there sure. was like fog and but smoke, I, and I mean, it, come in on. my mind, I'm also seeing Qui Gon and Obi Wan taking out destroyers. You know, <laughs> oh, from Episode One. Yeah, from Episode okay. One, yeah. Episode Two. Yeah. You know, just just messing up. You know, Star bat battle droids, Star and, Wars parallels, baby, and super love battle them. droids. Like you know, I could just yeah. That that was Luke's moment. For the prequels. <laughs> it was like a parallel to the prequels. I love it. In, in my mind. Okay, so leading up, so we're almost kind of, going, we're, we're Tarantinoing this thing and we're going backwards in time. So leading up to that. Let's do it, baby. Um, leading up to that, we had an interesting moment that I thought, and Justin, I figured you would be the one to help explain this away for me. And, 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 because yeah. uh, I'm confused. Um, yep. Moff Gideon uh, tries to, bring up this idea that because Mando beat him in battle and took the dark saber from him, he can't give mm -hmm. it to Bo-Katan. Yep. I remember, and I could be remembering wrong, Sabine Wren mm -hmm. handing over the dark saber to Bo-Katan and saying, you lead Mandalore. That is absolutely correct. Okay. Why the hell is, so is, is get Moff Gideon saying you have to, battle to the death when obviously he didn't battle her to the death to take the dark saber yeah. from it so i just feel like there was like they tried to bring up this interesting dynamic that really didn't need to be brought up like there was this weird it's like they were stalling for time or something it, unless there's really something there there is definitely something there uh sabine took it off a shelf um in in maul's house on uh on uh Malachor was it? Mm -hmm. Um, so technically she didn't win it either. She just right. took it. Right. Um and then things happened and then I'm pretty yeah, that that's the thing. Sabine gave it to Bo Katan. But then Bo Katan actually lost it in battle. Hmm. So her which we Honor? haven't we haven't seen yet, right? Like that's been done off screen. We haven't seen that. Yeah. Okay. No. So we, yeah. Well, obviously we haven't seen Bo-Katan and Moff Gideon fight. Right. 
and have her lose right. and have him win the dark saber. Right. We haven't seen that. We don't know when that takes place. But fla- flashback uh, in her series. But the fact that well, okay, hold on. We'll get there. She <laughs> won it, she lost it, and her honor in her own code would be like I need to win this back because I lost it. Yes, I got it, but I lost it. Okay. I failed at this um, fight, so I have to win it back. Um, Can't then Jaren just be it's like, too oh, easy. you stubbed my toe. It's too easy for, <laughs> for him to just be like, here you go. Yeah. Because she's like, this, this has blood on it, and I, I can't accept this, mm-hmm. which is a great respect thing about the blade but it's definitely something that's up in the air it's definitely that's something that's going to be answered sometime Mm -hmm. uh and even why she thinks that that's how it has to happen um this absolutely would have been a conversation that uh feloni and favre would have had right it would have been like okay so how does it work like when it comes to fighting with it losing it now it's yours fighting with it losing with it here you go and, right. they, and they're in charge of the ahsoka series right yes Bologna they are. and yes. Fabro are in charge of ahsoka. yeah yes right okay okay and yeah. rangers of the new yeah. republic what about uh, yeah. the book of boba fett well okay we're gonna get into that here in a <laughs> second we, we will <laughs> we will get into this <laughs> um the yeah so but that's the thing we don't know what's going to happen right so, so it's it's yeah it's, like i've got mine and this this is my <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not letting this go that is badass you're not um, you're not having your toe stubbed and then you're just handing it over because you know what i'm out here you go yeah um <laughs> exactly I'll, I'll okay take, i'll take the baby <laughs> first you keep this soul first up first up I again again um, uh, kudos and bravo to Favreau and Filoni for finally letting Pedro Pascal win a spear challenge. That's all I got to say. Thank you very much. Um, when he, when he kicked that with yes. the back of his foot and flipped it over, I was like, holy shit. <laughs> I loved it. Yeah, um, that, that was, that was, I was just like, was thank bad. God he's that got a helmet. Ass. Thank God he's got a helmet on. Protect your eyes. <laughs> Protect your eyes, Pedro. Uh, but he finally won a spear challenge. Good for him. Uh, so yeah. you know, I can feel his emotion through the. And it's really nice. That's oh, great. That he uh, that he head didn't get squished. Yeah. Either by the <laughs> boom punching of boom. So it's like, <laughs> oh um, god, it was off. That was brutal, it, man. Uh, yeah. It was. His that head was just brutal. keeps getting pushed but also further and further. Time, <laughs> yeah. At the same time, you go, oh, Beskar, strong. Yeah. Um, yeah, like why didn't why strong. didn't they make the blast doors out of Beskar? It's it's a it's a very valuable Beskar's metal. Very That's why somebody across. yeah, it's vibranium. It's vibranium. Yeah, like some, some, you can't just make everything out of it. Someone in chat was unless asking, you're a Mandalorian. Yeah, someone in chat good, was asking good call, good call. about you know the dark. He thought the dark troopers were made out of Beskar, and I was like, that's way too much Beskar to just be thrown around. Like that's they don't have that. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, uh, but that would have been hell cool. <laughs> That was definitely a uh, a fan question of like, are the dark, dark troopers made out of Beskar because of all the Beskar that has been taken across right. like the purge? And Moff Gideon, why wouldn't he try to build his most advanced, most capable um, weapons without making them as um, in Beskar? Which I absolutely understand that, and I'm sure. very glad that it wasn't because Luke wouldn't have been able to do what he did if they were made out of Beskar. True. It would have so been- it had to be just standard like Durasteel. Yeah. So I think, I think they, they easily explain that way just because of, of how valuable yeah. and how rare the metal I mean, is. There's it, a lot of those. It's damn also things. kind kind of a throwback to Japanese cinema because mm-hmm. in Japan, they have the strongest iron on the planet. Which is yeah. why katanas are so strong okay. and so powerful. Yeah, 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 yeah. They have like the most badass iron on, on our planet. Mm. Very cool. 
Yeah. And it's also the metallurgists yeah. as well. It's the way that like the Yamara, which I'm kind of, I'm happy, but I'm surprised that she wasn't in this whole season. Right. Um, but like she has a way with being able to deal with it. Um, that could be another reason it's why. It's not just. Yeah. That could be well, that, that could be another reason why Gideon wasn't able to even I, remotely, I you know, uh, uh, entertain the idea of being able to make the droids out of it because he doesn't have a person that can manipulate the metal yeah, as well. He doesn't can, have can, exactly can work with it. Yeah, so. exactly. Um, Hopefully, they bring her but, back in. Yeah. In, in the third well, what's season. interesting? Well, we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> um, we'll get there. So. <laughs> What good, good thought, didn't good happen thought. when Ahsoka was fighting uh, in her episode with the Beskar spear? The Beskar spear didn't heat up like it did with the black, it did in with this the dark episode. saber, right? With the dark saber, yeah. yeah. So good, is good call. Is the dark saber imbued? Is it a made out of Beskar? Is the kyber crystal that's inside it imbued with Beskar? Yeah. So I don't know about you, Just, but I know Zach and I have both played the Jedi Fallen Order games. Is, is, yes. I, I know you can change the metal on the hilt. Is, is Beskar one of the metals in Jedi Fallen Order? Honestly, I don't know. I don't in remember. In that game, I, I doubt it. Did, did you play it, Justin? I didn't. I've okay. got it, okay. but I haven't played it all yet. Okay. Yeah, I, but I, I, I know there's, I, I there's like there's like twenty there's like twenty Jedi different metals you could change your there, yeah. your hilt to, and I, I'm wondering mm -hmm. now if Beskar is one of them. You got me thinking. Now I mm -hmm. want to go back and look. Yeah, I'm. That's yeah. what I'm going to do tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to check if yeah. Jedi Fallen one Order of the, has Beskar. One of the coolest <laughs> things about one of the coolest things about that the the adapting the uh, changing the hilts and different things in that game. Yeah, is um. I, I was able to make the exact, like, not, not just close, but the exact lightsaber I made in Galaxy's Edge. That's like, they awesome. have the same parts. Oh, cool. So I have, awesome. like, yeah. my guy was playing around, my character was playing around with the same lightsaber hanging up on my wall in the basement. I just and, thought, the, and the one you cool. built. The one I built, right. It was just, an, it, it was a fun touch that they did to connect the universe again, was, was that they, and they said that you yeah, can yeah, make yeah. the same lightsaber that you're making here in Galaxy's Edge. I just thought that was freaking amazing. But anyway, yeah. I'm I, curious no. if Beskar is that, one of the metals. That's cross-programming. There's, there's a bunch of different alien metals you can use in I that don't know. game. I would love to see them, and maybe maybe this is a thing uh, they get into in the High Republic series, but I would love to see them discuss the 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 Jedi that made the uh, Dark, Dark Saber. Because if I correct me if I'm wrong, Justin, he was the only Mandalorian allowed in the Jedi Order, correct? Yeah, well, it was not the only. He was the first. Or was he I the first? Last. Okay, gotcha. He was the first. Gotcha. He was definitely the first. So if the Kyber Crystal is somehow imbued with Beskar or something, which would explain the reason it sounds different, what, I need to, what I'd like to do is compare the sound when he goes like, ting, mm -hmm. to his um, uh, gauntlet. I want to make sure that that sound is similar to wait wait in in a second it's that like that that yeah. sing song sound <laughs> okay i wonder if it's actually the same kind of sound because okay. the dark saber shouldn't be able to damage beskar but it did something that we haven't seen before. Uh, it, I mean, it what looked like if, it was going to melt through it. I, yeah. I thought he was going to start fighting It looked like, like it could have melted through it. <laughs> I thought he was going to have like two. It was like, oh, no. Beskar. Pedro. That's what I thought too. That's Pedro's going to lose another. Started, <laughs> yeah. Pedro's going to lose another using spear tool. fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, Pedro. But that's that's the thing. <laughs> the I think it's Tar Vizsla, who was the that Mandalorian, who yeah. was a Jedi. Sounds right. If he was to have made... A saber, why wouldn't it have the ability to actually fight and win against Beskar? Good call. If he wanted to use a saber that was a, a sign of power, why would it be powerful against Beskar unless it was powerful against Beskar? Mm -hmm. So that's something that 
the Mandalorian wanted to challenge the in Jedi. In this episode? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. And it's just, it's very interesting to know that we, I, th- I think we've, we've barely scratched the surface of what this, uh, of the, what this lightsaber can do. Well, okay. So that's, and, uh, and the history of it. And, and that's, and that's what brings me back to, to, or, or brings up this point that I feel like I want to go ahead and get into is, is this idea of a third season where, mm-hmm. um, I, I'll let you explain your, your theory. Cause I, I personally, I, I think I agree with your, with your theory, Justin, but I, um, yeah. And, and primarily I agree with it because during the, the just, that that's awesome, Justin, because if I had a theory, he would not agree with it. <laughs> Usually. <laughs> Typically, um, but the uh, during the Disney investor meeting, they uh, or presentation, mm-hmm. they they announced season three of of Mandalorian is coming out December twenty twenty one, which is a little bit later yep. than what and, Bo- and the Boba the book of Boba Fett is coming out December twenty twenty one. Well, you're jumping ahead, so here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. Um, uh, Justin has a great theory about the book of Boba Fett and I'll like I'll yeah, let him I well I'd love so, to yeah. hear, I'd love to hear it. Yeah, so I do have two theories. One of them which is the first one that I thought of which was oh wait, that's coming out at the same time as Mandalorian season 3. So that's very counterintuitive programming. You can't have two shows <laughs> at the, on the same month. Okay. okay. But you can have a movie and a show come out so you can have like the movie comes out on the 6th of december and then on the like a week later the uh the first uh, episode of mandalorian season three comes out which is possible uh but then i was thinking okay well a mando movie that leads into we've actually finished hold on okay yeah we've actually finished this story uh the visual dictionary of the Mandalorian is for the first two seasons. So maybe there isn't a third. Maybe the book of Boba Fett is the Mandalorian, the book of Boba Fett. Okay. What if it's a subtitle? Okay. What if they will retroactively recon this poster to be not Star Wars, the Mandalorian, but Star Wars, the Mandalorian, the book of Din Djarin. Hmm. Chapter one. Mm-hmm. Chapter sixteen, like, like George so the Lucas book of Boba Fett could that be, right. <laughs> right? Yeah, this could be like actually um, an anthology show. Okay. So season two, I mean season three and four, could be the book of Boba Fett, which is him being the, king the ma- of the Mandalorian. Tatooine. Yeah, colon the, the Mandalorian, the book of Boba colon, Fett. Yeah. Character, yeah. Okay. And who knows? Okay. Future, future, future. We could have um, uh, the book of Bo Katan. We could huh. have oh, so many. Man. So this you goes. Even, I'm loving it's that. It's not possible. I'm loving it. It's that. less possible. But what if we had the Mandalorian, the book of Django Fett? <laughs> what if it was young Django? Yeah. What if oh, the Mandalorian man. wasn't just Din Djarin the whole time? It was. Sabine Rand. The Mandalorian. Din, Django, Boba, bo well, Yeah. Well, yeah. You also have Sabine Wren hanging out there. Wow. Good call, man. The so, book of Sabine. Yeah. That's the th- good yeah. call. Yeah. So, so, okay. So I'm, and, and when you, when, when, when I heard your theory, Justin, I, it clicked and I said, you know what? That makes mm. a lot of sense because I don't think. Can I, I, I just real quick, I just yeah. want, I want a virtual fist bump because yeah. I'm loving that <laughs> shit. Virtual <laughs> fist bump. <laughs> Actually, I'm lo- do, it, lo- do it this way. Yeah. Do it this way. Loving, loving it, the man. Screen. Loving it. Go to the other side. I, I, I have oh, no idea. Where's my oh, fist? He's drunk. Okay. Can you see the <laughs> monitor? <laughs> <of> the- <laughs> um, so the here's the thing that 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 makes a lot of sense because you have you have two of them being released the same. You know, again, first of all, let's talk about the power that Filoni. And, and Favreau must have over Disney to sit there and during their investors presentation and say, guess what? Mm. You can't announce this Boba thing during your presentation They're in their investors presentation. You can announce yeah. everything under the sun, but you cannot. Yeah. You cannot. <laughs> 
They walked in, slapped their you know what's on the table, and said, "You cannot light announce sabers. lightsabers they on the put table." Their lightsabers on the table, and and you cannot announce this Boba Fett thing. Said, "This is the way I have spoken," and walked out the door. Okay, yeah. and they and yeah. they didn't, and 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 so, but they did announce a Mandalorian season three at the exact same time. And then you get this Boba Fett coda that says same exact timeline, and then and then Justin drops the idea. Okay, maybe it's Mandalorian, the book of Boba Fett. And it has a lot of merit because as you just pointed out, Justin, this, they, and I think you maybe even said it, Brandon, they, they finished this story. The story that was started in season one, almost with the first episode of season one, that story's done. Yeah, he finds the child, delivers, delivers it to him. Luke Skywalker. Now there's few little things here and there that they added that they, they, again, they teased us with little nuggets on the idea of Bo-Katan has to win back the dark saber. Right. Mm -hmm. They kind of talked about what Gideon was doing with the blood. Not really like they didn't go into specifics. They just said, we're using his blood. I've got his blood. I've got enough of it. They didn't say where it was. They didn't say what they were infusing it with or doing with it or anything like that. You have to mm -hmm. start making assumptions on on that front. Right. Yeah, um, like I'm, I'm resurrecting Palpatine. Right. Exactly. They didn't get I'm, into I'm that. creating snow. Right. Um, so you have a, you have a couple of these like little storylines that are still out there. What I find is super interesting is you know here I am poo pooing all of your ideas about um, spin off spin off spin off right yeah I know um, and I'm still like I I even I said it I was I was on board I could be on board with an Ahsoka one I was not on board with a Boba Fett one and the reason was is because I didn't need a Boba Fett series and a Mandalorian series. I wanted those, I wanted yeah. them to live in the same world. But what they've done now potentially is made mm -hmm. instead of a spinoff, they just made it an anthology and they said, we're going to continue. It's a Mandalorian show, but it's Boba Fett. And I, I don't even know if you need a two seasons, Justin. I think it's, I think it's a season. I think it's eight episodes, Boba yeah. Fett. I was honestly, I was thinking about that as I said it just now. That yeah. it could work just as a single season. Right. And then you do Bo-Katan and, and maybe you get a little bit of that backstory that we haven't seen yet. Right. Of how the Moff Gideon thing took place and all that jazz um, leading up to this. And then, again, if you want to start, Sabine can be introduced in the Ahsoka show. Right. And it's all taking place at the exact mm -hmm. same time. I'm still very curious as who the heck the Rangers of the New Republic are. Who are these people? It's somebody we've yeah. never heard of yet. So I don't know yeah. what that is right and who that's going to introduce but again you can start playing in this yeah, universe in this timeline and now you know go through a mandalorian two seasons a um uh a a boba fett season a bo katan season potentially a sabine wren season and then you bring din jaren back and you have mm. like a big final thing I'm still going, I, especially because they're all playing in the same timeline, and we know Ahsoka's going to get into the Thrawn thing. I still want Thrawn mm -hmm. being the puppet master behind the scenes, being the Thanos of all of these series, pulling the strings of all of the big bads on all these series, and then that's the big final showdown, whatever we call... You know what's interesting? I don't know when, in timeline-wise... Well, I do and I don't... Uh, when the first order comes to power in the, in the expanded universe of star Wars, the so-called sequel trilogy was the Thrawn trilogy. Right. What if they're actually doing that? What if after the events of return of the Jedi in the 30 year gap between sequel trilogies, um, the, the, uh, the original and the sequel trilogy, the villain of the galaxy was Thrawn. Right. And he was vanquished or something. Or trying before. to trying to bring Palpatine back, using Snoke as a figurehead. Could have been. I don't know, because that's too close to the final order. That's too close to the first order. That's too close to that. I feel like I there's don't think factions. I feel like the way the way Thrawn has anything to do with that. Yeah. I and I get But what that's you're... the thing. Who yeah. knows how okay. it can go? Yeah. Okay. They have they have imperial factions that are all kind of fighting with each other in um I don't know if they're in the aftermath books, Justin or not, because I never read those, but in the in the um uh it's um it's the Princess Leia book. It's not 
Princess of Alderaan, because that's when she's a kid. It's it's the second one Claudia Gray did where Ben Solo is a child and they had just sent him off. Bloodline. Bloodline. Thank you. Um, to go hang out with Luke. Um, that's when you start getting into the First Order stuff is in there. And that's mm -hmm. all canon. Yeah. Like that's all. But you don't know. Yeah. Again, you don't know who's pulling the strings and who's setting it all up and all this stuff. Like it's all kind of weird you know like if they think it's the empire they think or it's remnants of the empire and all this stuff um ends up being snoke in the background you just never really knew it in the book right so can you have a second you know uh faction out there led by a thrawn but is snoke like a dooku or a general grievous what whose strings are being pulled by somebody else potentially potentially or or they could just be you know real close together as far as like one you know, one, Thrawn, one fact, one faction, the Thrawn that faction, splintered off the empire. Right. So I, again, I, you know, and, and it could be, it could be like you said, like it's, um, like what bloodline takes place. What, however many years it's not, you know, we're, we're way past the Mandalorian. Cause I would think if, if Ben was uh, maybe why 34 old enough to go, but I, I, I just, I wanted to jump on Justin's point. I, I, I love that idea of a single season. Uh, you know, being about Boba Fett because yeah, in in Japanese anime they do this all the time. They'll they'll have like a one season or a two season show, mm -hmm. you know, that has a beginning, middle, and end, and it's freaking awesome, right? Which and is I, what we got. And with I, th Mando. I think we t we we talked about this before on our show that you know I, I think more and more Netflix shows need to go to this. They need to shorter. Go to this. Yeah, like it, it's okay. It, it's there's nothing wrong with having. A, a one season or a two season show that sure. has a beginning, middle, and end. Yeah, there's nothing wrong yeah. with that. Absolutely. And I, I okay, love so that aftermath Star takes Wars place four years doing... aftermath does. Okay, after the Battle of Yavin, so that would have been one year after Return of the Jedi, and one year before so aftermath, Mandalorian. Life debt and uh, Empire's End. Uh, that's five years ABY. Nine years ABY is Mandalorian. Five so years post -Jedi. that's five years right. after Return of the Jedi. Right. Bloodline is twenty-eight Aby. Okay, so we have twenty year, nineteen years for Thrawn until Blood until Bloodline. Okay, so so, he, so he Thrawn could, have... could exist in that yeah. 20 Thrawn, year gap. Thrawn's out there messing around and 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 for, for like almost twenty right. Years. And this splintered faction yeah. that Leia deals with or starts to deal with in Bloodline is the remnants of Thrawn's rain that's my that, that's gotta yeah. be it's gotta be what it is yeah and all of these shows the mandalorians and anthology series where we follow a different main character right you have the ahsoka show which then can set up thrawn and bring him into the fold the rangers of the new republic who the hell knows right but they're all mm. taking place on the same timeline in the same time frame so they all have to start connecting by the end of their of the end of their runs and the rangers is like what gina carano's character was part of right I don't know. She's, I don't know. She was like a drop. Well, that's the thing. She's a soldier. marshal. She's, she's a, a marshal. She's not a ranger. Now, but, but, but what was she before? She was a drop soldier. She was for, part of the rebellion before for that. For the rebellion, yeah. But these are the rangers of the New Republic, right? Okay. okay. So, mm. and it's taking place during the Mandalorian current timeline, right? So it's a New Republic, new faction that they have created, whatever that new faction is, right? Protectors mm. of the peace. Like, I see them as, like, the guy, you know, the... um uh, Trapper Wolf, you know, Dave Filoni's X-Wing pilot kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, I really I, don't know. I saw Gina Carano in that role. I hope not. <laughs> well, I, I know she's done some, yeah, well, it's, some stupid crap in the past month of, with tweets and yeah, stuff. It's and, and Disney wants her to apologize. Well, she's just not a very good actress, unfortunately. Like, she does okay with the role, but she's not. That Steven Soderbergh movie that she did with Michael Fassbender was freaking awesome. Mm. Mm -hmm. That was a great movie. Maybe she just needs more to do instead of just be like the muscle. She needs like to emote a little bit more. Yeah, uh, she just needs something more to do. Maybe. And it could um, it could be direction. It could be her just not not again not knowing what to do with the particular. I've seen um what was it called Haywire? I think. Yeah, Haywire. That's the Steven. That's the Steven Spielberg. She was the not Marvel good in that. that. Yes, she is. Okay. She's a badass. Well, no, I'm not saying that she yeah, can't sure. physically handle the roles, but but as far as performance, her her line delivery is very wooden. 
Mm-hmm. And, and it's the same. Her line delivery is the exact She's an same. Action star. I mean, compare, well, that's what I'm saying. Compare her to Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, she was. A, she was a UFC fighter. She's a freaking badass. I I know exactly what she was. I don't. But my point is, is I can't watch. I don't think I could watch a movie with her as the star or or a show with her carrying the show. I, I could. She's 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 an attractive woman. She's a badass. <laughs> and you know, I, I I would let her beat the shit out of her. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> Not lying. Not lying. Yeah. <laughs> uh so I, but that they they've kept they've kept the I mean obviously you know what Ahsoka's about they've just kept the idea of the Rangers of the New Republic very secret like I haven't heard anything about it. All the other ones they seem to yeah. they even during the presentation they seem to kind of drop hints of hey this is what this is hey this is what that is like they kept Rogue Squadron a little bit um a, a little bit uh, uh, quiet but um but we at least know what it is. You need a break. Okay, he needs a break. He's gonna take a quick break. I'm going to mute his microphone. <laughs> Go do your thing. Just don't say anything silly when you come back. <laughs> no guarantees. No guarantees. Um, so, Justin. So, what uh, I'm looking at, what I'm looking up right now is I just want to get a sense. Um, a, B, Y. Right. Ben Solo was born 5, <laughs> A, B, Y. Six, seven, eight, nine. So he's four years old right now. So he in, was in Mandalorian. He's four years old. He was wait, which he was means five ABY. So he was only born a couple years after Return of the Jedi. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I didn't realize yeah. that. Well, when you think about it, it's thirty years after Return of the Jedi that Force Awakens takes place. Okay, and he's around thirty. Okay. So yeah, that's the thing. Like it's basically that same kind of yeah. age difference. But what's super cute? Is the very thought that Grogu and Ben train together right. as four year olds? Right. Like there's little, little, little ben, ben, little Grogu, oh little Grogu. That's awful. Like, it's awful to think about. That's because, amazing. Because I don't want Grogu there when, uh, no, when things go bad. I don't. I, and, and he needs to be back with his dad, he needs to be back with him by then. And, and I have a feeling yeah. that the future of Grogu is not him being a Jedi, but is him being like Din's son. I don't think it matters. I don't think he's going to be Mandalorian. I don't think he's going to be Jedi. I think he's just going to be this kid who's going to grow up like I hope so, doing his own thing with his dad. Like I think that would be really, really nice to see because – it's yeah, it's it's interesting. Did they ever um, did they ever say the the name of um of Kanan and Hera's son? Did they ever drop that name at all? Oh yeah, Jason. J A C E. Jason, Jason okay. Sindula. So they took yeah. so they took the Jason from Jason the Solo. books. <laughs> from Jason uh Solo. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. I love that they I love that they yeah. just kind of cherry pick little things to keep it, you know, still like in the in the deal, but uh or in the universe, um, I uh, uh, I'm 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 totally. I, and the thing is, Justin, honestly, I'm I'm on board with with even the other idea of potentially uh, there there being a like the book of Boba Fett because they didn't specifically come out and say this is a series. So I am on. I don't remember which one of you guys said it, but I, I I'm also on board with the idea of the book of Boba Fett being a movie. That leads into mm. the next season. Mando three, yeah, that yeah, sets it which up. is why I'm totally okay with it being a being a film. Yeah, like well, I'm totally yeah. okay with it being a film. I'm, I'm totally o- okay with it being a series. I'm and I, cool I'm on o- both ends. I'm okay with what you said, Justin. I'm I'm okay with having like a a Mando movie leading into the Boba series. Yeah, <laughs> or that yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, wrap up, wrap up the storyline. Yeah, wrap wrap up Din Djarin's story. And bring it into mm. Boba Fett's story. Could be, and have but also and remember have, that Dean flashback can also be in the Boba Fett theory. theory. Right? He's it's the same timeline. It's not like these guys can't start crossing paths again. And yeah, yeah, because um, that was. I mean, they work well together. There's every chance that he's like, did I need your help?" It's, um, <laughs> and they. The thing was, yeah. is they brought Boba back to his 
to his roots too. Like I thought that was super cool in that yeah. coda. Was, I, I love how Justin sounds like Tamara Morrison. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say that again? Like, Dan, I need your help. Pe- pack your bags. We're leaving. <laughs> yes, that's awesome. Uh, that's funny. That is awesome. Um, they must have put a tracking device on our hull. <laughs> That's actually a good. That's actually a good. Tamara Morrison. That's actually pretty good. That's awesome. Thanks, man. They have done. Awesome. Um, it's basically cork, but if cork was like a little bit, he can do more cork gruffer. really well. You sound like uh, Take a White well, That's what I was to say. He can do cork really yeah. well. Like cork. <laughs> I'm actually the leader around here. The piss off ghost. <laughs> piss off ghost. <laughs> That's great. Uh, sons of anyway, biscuits. Uh, so, sons so, of so biscuits. Luke Skywalker started training Ben Solo in 15 <laughs> ABY, six years after this takes place. Yes. Huh. So little so little Grogu and little Ben were training together with Luke Skywalker and potentially uh Kanan's and Kana and Hera's son Jason could be potentially there at the same time. So what if Grogu turns to the dark side and becomes Snow? What? <laughs> oh my god! And that's what all the scars uh, are. His fine. ears fell Why off. Not? Why not? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> it, because of the dark side, he grows to he over got seven really feet tall. Fucking tall. <laughs> he went, yeah, yeah. The, the dark side makes him grow tall. Ears fell off. He grew seven, yeah, eight, man. ten feet, whatever it was the higher. The dark side messed him up. No. <laughs> Grogu. Grogu will always be uh, little baby Yoda. Yeah, why not? Little sweet baby Yoda tossing, why, why tossing we- stormtroopers around like they're rag dolls. But why can't we have Grogu as the villain in season three? Why why not? Do you want all no. of the Star Wars fans no, 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 no. to turn no. on you? I it's a great it's a great thought. That's and what, that's what George bark, Lucas bark. did. That's that's up there with need... Jar Jar Binks is Snoke. But uh, hear, hear <laughs> yeah. me out. Hear me r- r- real quick. Hear me out. So if if you were a kid who was born in like nineteen ninety nine and you grew up with watching Anakin as the hero in episode one and two, mm-hmm. and then, holy shit, your mind is blown when he becomes Darth Vader, and he's the baddest black man in the galaxy. <clears throat> a Nubian god. He's a Nubian god. <laughs> Why not do that with, with baby Grogu? Um, Why not? Make him, sure. the, make him the baddest. Sure. Make him the sure. baddest mother in the galaxy. Sure. And he becomes Snoke and F's your ass up. Uh, you know, I F's your ass up. <laughs> <laughs> what you know, I, I I I yeah, I, I would prefer the happier ending. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, I'm playing I'm playing devil's advocate here. I'm 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 just throwing shit out. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm you know, I, I wanna see what comes back to me. But what are your thoughts? On that heaviness, um, heaviness. Um, it just blew your mind, didn't I? I just blew. I don't even have. I don't even have the I right blew, sound effect for that. I just blew your mind. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take my want, 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 want. <laughs> Bring it on, mother F. <laughs> uh, so. <laughs> Justin has no words. I know. Neither do I. I'm going to see if I can try to well, bring I just this know back. That it's all wrong, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm just listening to <laughs> exactly. <the point>. It's <laughs> hey, uh, you know, I don't, I don't care if I'm right or wrong. The I, next... I don't care if I make mistakes. I don't care if I poop my pants. The next podcast bring it on Mother Effa. The next podcast, instead <laughs> of Ryan Johnson walking around with your Snoke theory sucks shirts, I'm going to be walking around mm. with your Baby Yoda theory sucks shirt. Uh, His name's yeah. Grogu. Grogu. Your well, the Grogu Epo. is Snoke. <laughs> your Grogu. Because name Grogu is yeah, Snoke. Yeah, Grogu your, is your Snoke. Grogu theory sucks. <laughs> your Grogu sucks. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. So good. That's exactly right. <laughs> What'd you say, Justin? <laughs> you just said so good. So good. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> hey, I'm I'm here for 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 laughs. Man. Okay, so can we? Uh, here's here's where I stand. I don't know how you guys feel on this. Season two was better than season one yes or no definitely okay definitely Uh, Definitely. no you're not thinking that what i'm asking is why can you ask that question well how was there a question 
season two was so much better. Okay, that's fine. So much better. How yeah, can you ask yeah. that question? <laughs> it I was, think it, it was really great hands, as season two. Hands down. Mm. So much better. <laughs> <laughs> there are listen, there are things that we there are things that we didn't get in season two that we got in season one. I mean, we we didn't have the 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 great lines that we can all remember. You know, like everybody okay. obviously remembers this is the way I'll be, everybody all okay. remembers. You know, uh, I have spoken, you know, there were some mm -hmm. great there were some great character moments from like an IG-11 and Taika Waititi. We didn't get that stuff in this season. Don't forget Nick Nolte. Nick Nolte mm -hmm. was freaking amazing. Well, that's what I was saying with with I have spoken. Is, and, and, and Taika Waititi did a great job with IG-11. I, that There were some great acting and some great directing in season one. Well, that's what I was saying. So that's where but story in season two was so phenomenal it was it was great i just don't phenomenal. i don't think there's any way you can't say season two is better i i just i, I just curious if everybody was on the same yeah. page i don't th yeah i, don't I really see how you can ask that kind question. of rewatch season one again <laughs> or wipe that question from pay your attention mind. to how oh, yeah. it's like structured <laughs> because season two is definitely structured like a film right i got beginning middle end it's like got like all the structure points are very, very reminiscent of a film. Yeah. Night, it's just night and like day difference. Long. I honestly, uh, but I don't feel that season one had the same thing. I think that's why the filler episodes kind of felt like filler episodes. Sure. Yeah. Then, then every then single actually episode part of it. made the universe better in season two. Like every single yeah. episode made our world better to live in. It's so funny. It's so funny because the filler episodes that I feel like we had in season one were the episodes, which again, I, I loved the, the prison episode, um, the prison break mm -hmm. episode, but you needed that episode, which we thought was filler in season one to give us Mayfeld for season, for season two, two, right? You needed, yeah. Yeah. you needed the gunslinger episode in season one to give us, give us Fennec. Fennec. Like, you needed those things, right? Yeah. To tease Boba yeah, Fett. Yeah. So we all thought, I did, I thought it was like, man, this is just, just filler, you know, whatever. Like, And again, I still love the Prison Break episode. I wasn't a huge fan of the Gunslinger. Mm -hmm. But um, you, you needed those episodes to play into season, to give us what we got in season two. I still think, yeah, I still think season two is hands down, like you said, it, 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 it was what we needed. I personally, after they blew up... Uh, the Razor Crest, I started thinking yeah. they were going to kill off Din Djarin and it was going to become an anthology yeah. series. Even then at that Very point, cool. yeah. because they were breaking him down. They, they blew up his ship. They were letting, he was starting to relax on the helmet thing. Right. And it was because he was yeah. eating in the ship before that with Grogu. Right. And he was kind of lifting it up a little bit to eat. And that's probably a thing that he does all the time, but not um, with him sitting there. Like, I just felt like it was odd that they showed it with him sitting there. You know what I mean? Like he was yeah, getting sure. comfortable. Like he was lifting that. They they addressed the idea with Bo Katan. Like you still follow that silly rule. Like, and yeah. then and then he takes it off. And obviously that was to show how important the child was to him. Like he took it off in yeah. front of all those yeah. Imperials, right? And then he takes it off again. You know, at the end. But but at that moment, I was like, mm -hmm. once he took it off in front of those Imperials, I was like, they're they're going to kill this dude. Like this is. Yeah. They really are going to make this an anthology series. At that point, I was like, they're going to, I don't yeah. know. I, I was kind of like the Boba Fett thing. I was like, maybe that's how they bring more Boba Fett into it is they get rid of, um, or they, you know, they make it more about Mandalorians in general, right? The Mandalorians mm. and it's Bo-Katan and, and all those guys. Um, but I was yeah. actually, I was actually very surprised they didn't kill him off in this particular episode. Honestly, the way the fight was going too. Where you were talking about, you guys were talking about before, where that best car was almost felt like it was going to cut through that spear. Mm. I was like, "Oh God, he's going out like a punk again." Stupid spear yeah. fights, man. But he pulled it off. So I was, I was excited to see that they that they didn't kill him off. But I really feel like they broke him down to the point where his story's done. Like for the most part, his story is complete. His ship is gone. Yeah. He's he's. Yeah. His ship is gone. He, he his shed his. Gone. Yeah, he has, he's, he's finished his. He finished his story, and he and he shed the final part of like right. himself that he was stopping from opening up. Like he'd finally, yeah, was able to to live. He finally able to breathe. Right. Absolutely. It's it might be a an interesting little analogy, but like him taking his helmet off, him finally being able to breathe and be calm with who he is, with knowing that. The way isn't the only way. 
um, and and above. Great. Yeah. And so that's his story is finished, mm-hmm. but this story is finished. This book mm-hmm. is closed. I like it. Doesn't mean he can't be in another one. Right. Uh, and I'm really hoping that, and I haven't mentioned this yet, but if we do come back to his story, that is like 10, 20 years in the future, mm. uh, with Grogu being 10, 20 years older, mm-hmm. uh, speaking, more capable, but still like, Maybe, maybe, like, it's going to be, it's, it's, it's comical, so I don't like the idea of it too much, but it's the, it's the wolf and the cub thing, but having the cub be a bigger wolf, mm. um, because he has these force capabilities and he's been training Protecting for him. the last 10, 20 years. So what if, like, in not very good terms, but. What if Din becomes his Padawan? There could be. What if it's he, that that had thought has crossed my mind? What if he has Force powers? You know, what if he is sensitive well, to the Force? Well, we may not see we may not see Grogu again until maybe this ultimate culmination of all of these shows. Like, like again, pl- just going down this theory that maybe Thrawn is the big bad of the whole of this whole architecture that they're building, right? Yeah, and all of a sudden they need the Jedi to help them. Like to to take down Thrawn and what he's built, then all of a sudden Grogu shows back up, and whatever this final season is, trained. It's been several years down the road, trained a little bit, and he's a little estranged from, you know, like Din Djarin is like wants to go up and hug the kid, right? And he's he's been training to be a, you know, stereotypical Jedi, and he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah, dude, I don't, yeah, you don't, can keep your ball. You know what no, I mean? Don't like, touch me. Don't touch me. No, but oh, but 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 what if what if bad uh, I don't know but what if he forgets him and then he is like that could be that? too that so, ball's still in play the, he kept the ball and he didn't give it to him I, I was so waiting for him to, be, to hold it up and be like come on Grogu I know you want this I know you want this <laughs> stay with me <laughs> who do you want to come with yeah come into come over do you really want to go <laughs> with the yeah, creepy <laughs> computer generated face want, or do you want to go with yeah Come can we get, talk? Come huh? get the ball. Can we talk? Come on, Grogu. Quick, quickly, get the ball. Can we talk quickly about again? <laughs> I, 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 I was, I was crying, man, tears, baby, just awful, just it was nasty tears when I saw Luke Skywalker. Yeah. But for God's sakes, can they hire yeah. the dude that does the deep fake stuff? Because that his stuff is so much better than what ILM is yeah. turning out. Like it's well, I, yeah. it's not about graphics for me. Don't get me I, wrong. I, I didn't cry when I saw Luke. I cried when Pablo, whatever his name is, Din Jaren, took his mask off. That's when I started crying. Yeah. I, there, yeah. there were big man tears. Don't get me wrong. I was already, here's the thing. <laughs> I was already a freaking mess. I, I was already a freaking mess. And then they roll R2-D2 around the corner, and I was just like, <laughs> son of a bitch. Yeah. And I just started losing. Sons of bitches. So so the second time, let me tell you a quick story. So the second time I watched it, I uh, I watched it with, uh, with, uh, my wife and 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 her uncle and um uh they they were they were asking me about it and and uh and I said I or they don't even think they asked me about it I just said this as I sat down to watch it I was like this freaking show wrecked me today I was still puffy mm. whatever and so the entire time I can feel my wife like eyeballing me to see if I'm crying yet you know what I mean and then um and and she keeps and then like the X wing like shows up and my son's like trying not to spoil it you know he's like trying to keep quiet but he can't stop I'm like shh, shh, shh. and and I can just see her eyeballing me and I and I as I'm taking a drink I'm like I'm fine and I take a drink and then all of a sudden like Luke like the music started swelling w- Luke walked out of that damn like walked in that door and I lost it and I went I'm not fine. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't stop. Like it was just, it was yeah. the same. I don't, it was just, it just, all of it swelled back up again. 35 years of not, of thinking, like wanting to see that Luke Skywalker. I don't get me wrong. The, yeah. the badass. Yeah. I love the Last Je- Jedi. The badass, the I badass love Last Jedi. Jedi young. Yes. Luke but Sky- that Luke Skywalker. Yeah. Thir- like that we, the Luke Skywalker we grew up with for 35 years. Being a badass. That's <laughs> I wanted to Picking see out that and super I, destroyers, and I never thought I would, and it <laughs> gave it to me. And so, like you, yeah, I mean, I it it didn't like it caught like I I noticed it like how the the 
the face was good, but it wasn't great. It was like Leia from Rogue One. I was okay with that. But yeah. but and and at the time when I saw Leia from Rogue One, I was like, this looks pretty damn. Yeah, the Tarkin, like I was like, this the, looks pretty darn good. You know, the Leia from Rise of Skywalker mm. is the one I had problems with, where she's all skinny and she's tra- training as a Jedi. That's that's the Leia I had problems. I see. I didn't mind that one. I, and I thought the Luke face in that one was pretty good too. I, I have problems with that. The but, Luke face and the Leia face from those were directly pulled from the earlier movie. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so they, that were, wasn't they were pulled the deep from thing. Jedi. Yeah. They were pull. pulled from Jedi. I, right. I agree. Yeah. But in my opinion, that that Leia face for some reason doesn't doesn't sit with you. It does not resonate with me. Interesting. But it's mm. it's when I that, see that one bugs me. Yeah. In Rise of Skywalker. And when I see the when I see the deep fake stuff that they did after the fact with Tarkin with Leia. Um, I think yeah. I even saw one where they put Han Solo, they put Harrison Ford's face on on um, on Alden's Alden. face, yeah. you know, and like even that stuff looks freaking good. And I'm just like, if you can do that, yeah. why? Why? I'm looking forward to somebody doing the deep fake on this, and I'll be like, oh yeah, yeah, they should have just done that. Yeah. Okay. So the other yeah, thing, the, the other de- thing, I'm a big sure elephant the in the room looked better. Right. You're right. It will look probably. Better. What was the elephant in the room? So. Sebastian Stan was long rumored to be the fan casting for the live action Luke for young Luke again. Sure. Now, as soon as he came on screen, I was like, it's Sebastian. (laughs) I had the opposite effect. I was like, it's not Sebastian. (laughs) Yeah. I wondered until he pulled the hood back. (laughs) It looks like Sebastian, but with like CG face on top. Yeah. Um, no, immediately I was. And like, then not Sebastian we found Stan. out that it's not Sebastian. Stan. I, I was, I was it's expecting some him to have actor a beard. man. It is some actor. Okay. I was expecting him to have a beard. It's just some guy who. <laughs> let me see if it's in my history. Did Did Luke do the voice? Do we think Mark Hamill did the voice? I uh, yeah, I guarantee. You when Mark I was listening, when I was watching it again today, I was listening for it. I don't and know if I you did the live action did. capture. I wondered. I wondered because it sounded so much younger. And I just like it, it sounded. He, he is such a great voice actor. It is, but it sounded like the yeah. such it a great sounded like actor. the voice actor from Fallen Jedi. That's what it sounded like to me, and that's where I wondered if it was. That's all, I, and I just I don't know. If, yeah. I mean, eventually we're going to find out because eventually Mark's going to come out and say it was me or not me. Like he's going to come out and say it. Well, he was credited. Right. He was directly credited. Right. But they used his likeness. Um, so I wonder if they have to credit him because yeah. they use his like, likeness. Exactly. But, but he would be right. Nice. He's a, I know he's in, in a camel. I, I, cam- I don't think the camel would stand for that. The camel. I don't think the camel would let his name be associated with that if he hadn't done it. Possibly. I don't yeah. know. See, that, that, he, that's he has the thing. A, it's he so, has a shitload of integrity. It's so up in the air at the moment. A shitload of integrity yeah. as an actor. Coming out of Last Jedi and coming out of Rise of Skywalker, he would be like, "Okay, guys, you, you you're joking, right? You want me to be on this show? Mm-hmm. You want like, how are you going to do it? Like, show me how you're going to do it. It's going to look like that. Sorry, I can't be a part of that. Mm-hmm. Or yes, I can absolutely be a part of that. The elephant in the room to me is that it, a it should have been Sebastian Stan, no CG." It should have just been an unapologetically, I'm Sebastian Stan on set. This is me and no CG. I don't think I would have had I, the same feeling. As a fan, yeah, see, I think I would have because I wouldn't have been thinking, oh, that, this looks a little bit weird. Yeah. I get so where you're going. I would have been okay with that because of that. Well, I when, think it should have been I, Sebastian Stan. When I'm Stan. watching it, I'm like, who is this new actor? <laughs> who is this? You're right. Yeah. This SOB. Who's, who's trying to, who's trying like, to, if they play found somebody camel. else that looks like Luke. <laughs> yeah. Who's trying to play my, my childhood hero. Yeah. Who looks like the camel so much. Just real, real quick. The seven hours ago is his, is Hamill's last tweet. And it was seen anything good on TV lately. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Mark, I, 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 I love it. I love yes, Mark Hamill. I have. He also did a, an Insta post. <laughs> he, he's not wrong right don't spoil it mm. for people it is <laughs> the headlines have been effing ridiculous it is it's it's crazy i mean it's the it's same not of a hand it's the same thing you see in with with bigger movies too though like you gotta scream don't spoil it don't spoil it you know that was yeah, marvel him, did that really him well standing i guarantee you yeah. him standing in that doorway that was mark hamill replaced you, by 
a CGI character. That was Mark Hamill in that motion capture performance. Maybe not spinning the freaking you know lightsaber huh? around and taking out the super the super destroyers. That was not him. But standing in that doorway with R two D two, that was Mark Hamill, no doubt CGI replaced. Mm -hmm. No doubt in my mind. Mm -hmm. One of these days, Mark Hamill is going to fill us in on what his interpretation is of what happened there. And at that point we will all mm. somewhat know because he tends to play with us anyway. So maybe we won't know for sure. Uh, even when but also he... what's exciting is that the behind the scenes show, Star Wars gallery comes out, next the Disney week. gallery the Mandalorian comes out from next week. Yeah. So that will hopefully be eight episodes. Uh, and hopefully they will include Luke in that they got uh, at that the point, return of Luke Skywalker. That could be that could give us um, our answer right there. Actually, I forgot about that. That was it during could give yeah. us the answer in that. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, because I think Lucasfilm, Disney, they're all they're okay. Like I'm, we I'm still refreshing the feed to see if um, uh, Star Wars dot com or their Twitter feed or something announces anything about Book of Boba Fett. Uh, until we get it on um, StarWars.com, or at least there's they're actually speaking about it, it's right. just all still conjecture. We don't know if it's going to be... Um, Movie, season uh, three, like whatever. What? We, we don't know if it's series. going to... Yeah. Oh, that's not what it was. Yeah, we don't know. That's the thing. Uh, they, Twitter. They're keeping it... It's crazy. It's, they kept it a secret. Like, they must have been threatening people's yeah. children. You know what I mean? To keep something that big. The only thing I can think of is to contradict your point is that it wasn't Mark Hamill on screen on, on set that day with a motion capture suit on that. It was some other actor. And at that point they're like, it's going to be a CG character. We're not telling you who they didn't tell any of the actors who it was. They didn't tell any of the other people on mm -hmm. set who it was. Right. Because no one specifically references him as Luke Skywalker. Nobody in that show. Not a no. single moment. In the credits, is R2's Jedi. Right. R2 is CGI. Like, you could go through all of that with a blank slate right there with nobody knowing what they were looking at. Just react this way. You're saying goodbye to Grogu. That's all they. That's all the actors needed to know. And the only, like, people mm. involved, like, but again, they kept it a secret. Like the CG artist putting the face on there, everybody kept it a secret. But that's the same thing they did to Mark Hamill in Empire Strikes Back when Vader was revealed to be his father. Right. They Mark kept, Hamill had no idea. Had no idea who his father actually was. Absolutely. They just said X is your father. Right. And he reacted to that. Didn't didn't they like say like Obi Wan killed your father or something like? Didn't that like what Prowse had to yell or yeah. something like that? Something weird. Yeah. And he's like, no. Yeah. Huh. It's great. Kept it all a secret. I love it. I think, I think, man, watch it again. I need to watch it again right now. How many times have you seen it? Yeah. yeah. Twice. I've seen it once. I need to see it three times. I've seen it once. I need to see it at least three times. <laughs> Don't threaten children. Oh, but I'm going to be watching it way more than three times. I can't like, wait to I, just I go I want to watch. I think the next time I watch it, I want to watch like from the start. Yeah. And I just want to watch. They're all so of it short. Again. Just binge watch it. They're so and short again. straight through. That's a day. It's a day. It's it's you can watch all all of them because they're so short. This one was only 44 minutes long with the coda. Most of them are like 40 yeah. minutes, 45 minutes long this season. Right. The last three episodes have been 30 minutes. Yeah, they've been short. It's been stupid short. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want more. I, I've, I've just been want wanting more out. the entire I want season. To do a check now. <laughs> I have been I have been Kylo Ren in that in that uh walker just screaming more or not Walker, but I guess he was in his ship. I, I want more. I've won. I wanted more. Every time a show was over, I wanted more. You've wanted to shoot camel mm. more and more, more, <laughs> more camel, shoot yes. more camel, shoot more camel. Okay. <laughs> um, well, this has been fun. Yeah. I, Thanks, Justin. Justin, I appreciate you coming in, my man. Oh, you're welcome, guys. Having these great conversations. No worries at all. Love the theories. Yeah. Uh, real quick, before we head out, uh, last, uh, completely off topic, Justin J. Wood, favorite holiday movie, go. Home Alone. Home Alone's your favorite. Brandon Rutledge, go. Yeah. Uh, Better Off Dead. Better Off Dead. Still don't think it's a holiday movie. Yes, it's a Christmas um, movie. <laughs> uh, I will go with... Uh, 
Die Hard. Savage Steve Holland. But I was going to say, better off dead. Iron Man 3. Uh, Iron Man 3. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, but I do recommend Man. I do recommend everybody seeing Fat Man. If you have not seen Fat Christmas Man yet. Christmas Vacation. No, I haven't, but Written I'm looking forward to it. by John Hughes. Yes. National Lampoon. National Lampoon's is a close second. Christmas Vacation is a close second for me. It's it's a toss-up. But mm-hmm. when, we want, when we wrap Christmas presents, we watch National Lampoon's, and then we watch... Die hard. I, I when you're in the Go oasis ahead. and you're walking around Shermer, the planet, and you see Clark W. Griswold and his total virtualness, you know, next to all kinds of other uh, John Hughes characters, you're totally there, man. Hmm. You're there in the oasis. Okay. <laughs> And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we were get out of here. Uh, Justin J. Wood, where can the kids find you on social media and and come visit you and hang out with all of your glorious uh, goodness? Absolutely everywhere that is available and at Justin J. Wood. Everywhere. It's very simple. C-I-N-J-W-O-O-D. It's very, very simple. Anywhere and everywhere you want, Justin J. Wood. Brandon Rutledge, where can the kids find you to once again say your Grogu theory sucks? Uh, my Grogu theory sucks at <laughs> the <laughs> Rut Legend <laughs> on Twitter, and uh, yeah, same thing on Twitch. The Rut Legend, the Rut Legend yeah, on t- Twitter. Tell me how much I suck. Twitter and Twitch. Please come visit, hang out with him. He is gaming on Twitch these days, yes. and it's a super. I, I, I want your horrible feedback. <laughs> you want our horrible feedback? Yes. It is Give a. Give it to me. Bring it on. It is a blasty blast. Tell me how much I suck. <laughs> and you can find me at Zach M Rutledge on Twitter, Twitch, and. Instagram. Justin J. Wood, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thanks, Baby Justin. Yoda, Grogu. You've been great. Is, Most welcome. Is that a Grogu in your pocket, or are you happy to see me? Probably. I'm happy, Probably. To, I'm happy to see you. Probably. All right. We are out of here, folks. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. I always have a Grogu in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>